so today we will discuss uh, on this uh, color and color friction uh, basically a color bearing color bearing or uh, simply you can say a color is provided is provided at any position at any position along the shaft along the shaft and bears and bears the axial load the axial load on a mating meeting surface surface now uh, the surface surface of the color of the color may be flat or it may be conical conical in shape now if you look at the schematic of a color so it will be somewhere like this let's say we have the color here and let's say this is the central axis of shaft now <clears throat> this portion indicate the bearing part this is the dotted line means there should be a uh, hole inside the collar to fix the shaft okay and that means the inner radius of collar is the radius of the shaft okay and this is the outer radius of the collar right now if you look uh, from the uh, top side the diagram will be somewhat like this this is the shaft diameter okay let me redraw it once again this is the shaft diameter or inner color diameter and this is the outer color diameter okay now the outer radius is denoted by r1 okay and the inner radius is denoted by r2 now let w is the axial thrust acting on the shaft so this is basically the case of a single color bearing single color bearing okay in case of uh, your multi color bearing there will be number of colors n number of colors you can place as per the requirement so the schematic will be somehow like this
so the outer and the inner diameter is the soft diameter and the outer diameter is the color diameter so this is basically your r1 the outer radius and this is r2 okay and this is known as multiple color bearing multiple color bearing okay now coming to its mechanics let r1 is the external radius of color external radius of color r2 is the internal radius of color okay now the area of bearing surface area of bearing surface let's say it is denoted by a will be your pi r1 square minus r2 square let's say it is equation 1 now first of all considering the uniform pressure criteria uniform pressure criteria so when pressure is uniformly distributed pressure is uniformly distributed over the bearing surface the intensity of pressure the intensity of pressure P will be load divided by area so this will be W divided by pi into R1 square minus R2 square. Let's say this is equation 2. Okay. Now, total frictional torque will be total frictional torque T will be 2 by 3 mu w r1 q minus r2 q divided by r1 square minus r2 square okay this will be equation 3 considering uniform pressure criteria okay now in case of uh, multiple colors are this multiple colors are provided provided to increase to increase the amount of the amount of rubbing surface 
the surface to reduce to reduce the intensity of pressure pressure so for n number of n number of colors colors intensity of pressure intensity of pressure p will be w divided by n times of the surface area so n into pi r1 square minus r2 square okay let's say this is equation 4 and total torque transmitted torque transmitted in <coughs> multicolored multicolored soft remains constant okay and that is t is equal to 2 by 3 mu w r1 q minus r2 q divided by r1 square minus r2 square let this be equation 5 okay now considering this uniform wear criteria uniform wear criteria total torque transmitted T will be half mu w r1 plus r2 okay let this be equation 5 details of this derivation that means how uh, we are getting this with respect to uniform wear and with respect to this uniform pressure uh, I will show you in the subsequent videos. Okay. Now, suppose uh, we have a problem here. Say it is showing that the Thrust shaft of a ship has six colors of uh, 600 mm external diameter and 300 mm internal diameter, and the total thrust from the propeller is 100 kN. If the coefficient of friction is given 0.12 and speed of the engine is given 90 rpm, find the power absorbed in friction at the thrust block okay assuming first uniform pressure criteria second uniform wear criteria okay let us solve this problem so first step in this regard is to write down the given data so we'll write the given data so first number of colors number of colors n is given 6 the <coughs> outer radius 
of the color outer radius of color that is your r1 is 600 by 2 okay so it is 300 mm that means 0 0.3 meter the inner radius inner radius of color that is the sub diameter r2 is 300 by 2 that is 150 mm or you can say 0.15 meter okay now uh, thrust acting in the shaft w is given it is 100 kilo newton so 100 into 10 to the power 3 newton coefficient of friction mu is given 0 0.12 okay speed of the shaft rpm is 90 rpm so we can find out omega angular speed 2 pi n by 60 so unit will be radian per second so this will be 2 pi into 90 by 60 so it is coming 9.42 radian per second okay. now next step will be uh, considering uniform pressure as we have to consider both the criteria so first let us consider the uniform pressure criteria uniform pressure criteria is torque t will be 2 by 3 total frictional torque 2 by 3 mu w r1 q minus r2 q divided by r1 square minus r2 square okay so this will be equal to 2 by 3 into 0 0.12 into 100 into 10 to the power 3 uh, 300 okay if you take in mm 300 q minus 150 q divided by 300 square minus 150 square you can choose a uh, unit whatever you want but accordingly you have to express so this will be 2800 into 10 to the power 3 newton mm that means it is 2800 newton meter okay now the power absorbed in friction power absorbed in friction that is p will be t dot omega so it will be 2800 into omega we got as earlier 9.42 so 9.42 so this will be your 26.264.00 watt okay or you can say it is 26.4 kilowatt Now, according to uniform wear criteria, uniform wear criteria, this torque transmitted T will be 1 by 2 mu W R1 plus 
R2 that is half into 0 0.12 into 100 into 10 to the 3 R1 is 300 plus R2 is 150 so it is 2700 into 10 to the power 3 Newton mm or you can say 2700 Newton meter now the power absorbed in friction power absorbed in friction in friction P will be T dot Omega so 2700 into 9.42 okay. so it will be approximately 25450 watt or you can say 25.45 kilowatt right now <coughs> we'll solve so the question given is uh, the thrust of a propeller shaft in a marine engine is uh, taken up by a number of colors uh, integral with the shaft and the shaft diameter is given 300 mm the thrust on the shaft is 200 kilo newton okay speed is 75 rpm taking mu is equal to 0 0.05 and assuming the intensity of pressure is constant that is 0.3 newton per mm square find the external diameter of color okay that means you have to find out uh, this r1 okay r1 uh, first you will find r1 the external radius then you can find out the diameter and number of colors required that means n have to find out n if the power lost in friction is not to exceed 16.5 kilowatt okay remember it is 16.5 not 16 now we have the given data uh, r2 is 150 mm uh, thrust is 200 into 10 to the 3 newton speed is 75 rpm omega will be 2 pi into 75 by 60 so uh, 7. Point 8, 6 radian per second mu is 0.05 okay. then uh, pressure intensity is 0 0.3 newton per mm square and power is given 16.5 kilowatt now let t is the total frictional torque and we have this power is equal to t uh, dot omega so t will be p by omega so we have power is 16.5 into 10 to the power 3 divided by omega is 7.86 so you'll get t is equal to 2101.91 newton meter it is uh, 5 actually okay omega is 5 so let us write here 7.85 now t we got according to uniform pressure theory according to uniform pressure theory we have this t is equal to 2 by 3 mu w r1 q minus r2 q divided by r1 square minus r2 square okay so i can write this 2101.92 is equal to 2 by 3 into 0 0.05 into 200 into 10 to the power 3 and instead of this r1 q minus r2 q i can write r1 plus r2 into r1 square minus r1 r2 plus r2 square okay and instead of r1 square minus r2 square 
I can write R1 plus R2 into R1 minus R2. So this R1 plus R2 will get cancelled out. So we have 2101.92 and <coughs> if you solve this, this will be 6666.67 into R1 square minus I can write here 0 0.15 R1 plus 0 0.0225 K because 0.15 square is 0 0.0225 and divided by uh, R1 minus 0 0.15 right so further we can simplify this equation as uh, this will be 0 0.3152 is equal to r1 square minus 0 0.15 r1 plus 0 0.00 sorry 0 0.0225 divided by r1 square minus 0 0.15 okay so <laughs> we can write this equation as 0 0.3152 R1 square minus 0 0.15 is equal to R1 square minus 0 0.15 R1 plus 0 0.0225. Now bring, uh, bring everything to the right hand side. So we'll have R1 square um, minus 0 0.15 R1 uh, minus this okay okay this will be um, not square only r1 uh, minus 0 0.3152 0 0.3152 r1 and plus 0 0.0225 plus So this will be 0 0.04728 equal to 0. So if you solve this, uh, um, further simplification it will be R1 square minus 0 0.4652 R1 plus 0 0.069 seven eight is equal to zero so this equation will have two roots and taking the positive one we'll have uh, this r1 as 0 0.2326 meter so to find the number of colors <coughs> you can use this relation the intensity of pressure P n is equal to W by n pi into R1 square minus R2 square. Okay, so we have P n is given 0 0.3 Newton per mm square, and on the right hand side it is 200 into 10 to the 3 divided by n pi. R1 is uh, 0 0.2326 meter. We got so this will be 232.6 mm 232.6 square minus r2 is 150 okay so now this n will be equal to 200 into 10 to the 3 divided by 0 0.3 into pi 232.6 square minus 150 square now let me solve this I will have 200 into 10 to the word 3 divided by 0.3 into 
by 232.6 square minus uh, 150 square so you'll get approximately 6.71 okay so the value number of colors will be an absolute value so take to the next roundabout that is 7 number of colors will be 7